Hello everyone. I'm excited to start today and demoing the Dataverse MCB server and how we can build together an end-to-end solution for HR recruiting using the, this MCB server for Dataverse and multiple different agentic systems. And the first part of this kind of three different pieces we're going to build here today starts within GitHub Copilot. And what I've done is I've configured this MCB server for my GitHub Copilot project here. And this is connected to an environment for Dataverse that I have within the cloud. And what I love about GitHub Copilot is you can ask it just a simple question is, okay, it's like what tools are available on this server that I've configured within uh, my environment here. And it says, okay, like you, basically this server exposes a bunch of data management capabilities. So I can have operations such as create and query data within the database. I can also update the schema of the database and, and also can enumerate what all the tables and data that exists there. And I also have some rich uh, tools that are built for agents, such as the ability to kind of index data as knowledge. So this is kind of any any uh, unstructured or structured data that's supported across the Dataverse connectors. Um, and it also has the ability to execute powerful AI actions called prompts. And we're going to touch on that a little bit later as we build some of our agents on top of this. But to start off with, I just have this application data. So we've been tracking um, our job applications in a spreadsheet, a CSV file here that's tracking all the applications we have to date. It's, it's a, just a file within the workspace here. And I'm going to ask uh, GitHub Copilot here, okay, okay, create a table, store this data, upload those records for me. And because, because it has the Dataverse MCP server deployed here, it knows, okay, I'm going to trigger the create table record here and a create table tool here. And what's really cool is that because it has access to the context of the file here, it matches the same schema of the file with creating a table for it in Dataverse. And it looks like that completed. That's awesome. So it's the uh, created job application table. Great name. Um, and now it's going to go through and upload the records. Um, and there's about 20 of the different applications here. And it's going to kind of create those records within Dataverse. And and this is really awesome. So like basically, and there you go, it started by creating them here. Awesome. Um, and it does so in a batched way. So it's not just doing it one by one, but it has the ability to kind of create multiple records at a time. Um, and, and this is great. So like I can, I can start already start to kind of get started. And just to show you that this is kind of working behind the scenes, here's just a skeleton of an agent I've created uh, in that same Dataverse environment in Copilot Studio. Um, and I'm going to add here, I'm going to go, let's go preview, uh, the Dataverse here. And that was a, I believe it was a job application table. So let's search here. So see here, job application table. Okay. Let me check that name again. Yeah. The job application table here. Okay. Let's find it. Let me just refresh really quick because I believe I had this already saved. And when I go and add that knowledge source, and it's just chugging away, uploading those records for me in a bashed way, which is great. All right. I'm going to go here to my agent that I've created. I'm going to add Dataverse again. Okay. All right. All right. There's my job applications that I created. I can preview it. So you should start to see all of this same data being created here, which is awesome. Awesome. So all those 20 have been created. I can add this to my agent. Okay. I can even say, you know, how many records uh, have been uploaded. Or I would say like uploaded to the job applications table. 
and it should do an actual runtime query um, against that using that tool. And what's really, really awesome for me too is I can also ask that same question kind of in the agent that I built here. And let's see here, it should give the same answer. So it should see, I believe it was 20. So there's 20 records. It ran that SQL query here. Um, and that same query here within um, Copilot Studio should also return 20 records. So I'm really easy. I've used kind of the Dataverse MCP server to easily kind of pull data and immediately add it and enable it with an agent. You saw how easy that was. Um, and what's what's really cool about that, and I'm going to, so now that I've kind of started and configured my server uh, for my agent, I'm going to expand this here. And I'm back in my agent experience here. And it turns out that, you know, the job applications table wasn't the only thing I configured here. I also added a candidate resumes file here to uh, the Dataverse common knowledge as a part of this environment. And so this index all of these resumes associated with those applications, which we've been tracking, just storing those in, in SharePoint. And I've added that as a part of the common knowledge graph of Dataverse. So I can also ask questions because Dataverse supports kind of rich indexing uh, even kind of federated data that lives elsewhere, um, I can say, okay, um, how many, how many applicant, how many, oops, how many uh, applicants? Let's see here. Have C sharp experience. So this should, um, this information is not in the the application records, just kind of like those entries within the Dataverse t data, the table that we just created, but it should pull from the resume information that we indexed within the uh, the index we built against SharePoint. And in this case, okay, that's great. So we, these were uh, sample resumes that I created the other day, and it should show that there's, okay, you know, Aub Aubrey has C-sharp experience, that's awesome. And what's what's really cool is that you can see here this how powerful this is because now I can ask, okay, like so like when did when did Aubrey submit their application? I'm able to kind of like show here how Dataverse indexes both the structured and unstructured data, um, which is super relevant in these type of business processes where you have kind of multiple different tracking and multiple different information really around the same business process. And I can say, okay, all right, like the uh she has experience as looks like she was last an intern. And let me see if I can ask, I wonder if this was in the actual information, where does she currently work? So if I, if I was actually cheating here, doesn't actually show where she currently work. I think that's just, yeah, it would just show like the summer of, of 2024 would be the uh, kind of the last kind of like work experience that she, she had. So she's kind of like more of a, more of like a new hire here. Um, so it probably should say that, um, oh, SysTech, let's see here. And this should come from the job application, right? So it wasn't actually in the resume, but it was within the job application that Audrey submitted, um, which is, which is really, really awesome, uh, as a part of this. And actually let's just check this, um, within the the uh, data here that we uploaded. So, yep, and it just showed here that she was, SysTech was the uh, the cur her current job title, which is really, really awesome. So like, you see here how powerful all these pieces are uh, and how configurable it is um, to even just use the DOS MCP server to get started with setting up your data estate uh, for your business process on Dataverse.